Don't stare at me like that. Flounder, please. <laughs> I was talking about the other two, but also Flounder, no. I guess. <laughs> it's just, just standing back there looking at you. He's been staring at us for like the eight hours we slept after we pissed up the king. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Uh, one other heartless in this zone is uh, the big jellyfish. Uh, big jellyfish acts like the normal jellyfish, except when you beat him, he splits into several smaller jellyfish. Oh, I thought he was just bigger. The miracle of birth. <laughs> <laughs> the ocean is full of wonders. Nature, man. Fucking nature. Wow, the, the keyhole they seek is somewhere in the palace. Uh oh. Now, my dear, if you can take me there without your dad knowing, if you can sneak <laughs> this giant octopus into your house. <laughs> you long for. This is pretty creepy. <laughs> Just her smiling over there. This is some real stranger danger shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let this octopus lady into your house. <laughs> An octopus witch tries to get into your home, call the authorities immediately. Don't trust wizards. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, don't trust witches, they're just female wizards. <laughs> it's messed up, if you think about it. Wow, Chorps, I can't believe you don't believe in magic equality. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the one who said it, don't start with me. <laughs> the trident is mine at last! And I couldn't have done it without your help. Oh, well, also he's dead uh, now somehow. What? What happened? <laughs> How did he get here? <laughs> he wasn't here before. He just came into his throne not noticing anything and had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he had a heart attack. Time for a little journey to the dark world of the heartless. We cannot find the key. What? 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 <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, she called us handsome. Oh, oh nice. I thought she was calling Trident handsome. They're all pretty handsome. What a nice hag. But if I had to pick, <laughs> if I had to pick, it'd be King Trident. <laughs> Get it uh, she called us sweetie on, while go. she murdered my brother. Well, how <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wait, I'm going with you. My father is hurt and it's all my fault. I have to stop Ursula. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, <laughs> <I'm ready. laughs> Did you come is he going to join our party? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, ma. <laughs> What the fuck is you... I'm gonna fuck him up, Mom. Oh, he seems, <laughs> he seems rather pleased. Look at him, look at that <laughs> smile. Yeah. Oh, thanks for the tips and tricks, Trixon. <laughs> Pro tip, Lord of the Ocean. Hey, Sora, did you know the Konami code is up, up, down, <laughs> left, right? So, okay, it's actually important you speak to King Triton a second time here. Why? Because uh, he actually gives real tips and tricks. No, because Elsa does not activate a uh, certain flag. You actually need to get to Ursula's lair. Whoa. Oh, did you change Keyblades since... Yeah. The, over the cutscene? I changed it to the magic one, which oh, uh, gives me some more MP. Oh, that explains why you have suddenly 7 MP. Yeah, increases my magic uh, and summon power. Nice. Also, that guy you just saw... Uh, that's a fat fish. He uh, he carries around like those little swordfishes. Sometimes mm -hmm. he can electrify himself. Uh, around that oh. time, you don't touch him because else you will get hurt. Oh, I see. These jellyfish are messing you up. Mm. They're nothing. You're getting your ass I'm kicked. Strong. I'm powerful. You're dying. Fuck you guys. I'm the best at this game. I'm the best in all worlds. <laughs> I don't know. You made yourself a wizard. Maybe I am the nerd I always feared I would be one day. <laughs> oh, time to give you a swirly under the under the ocean. Look, you got your little iPod dangling from the corner of this room. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a trading card. <laughs> like, oh, it's just his favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card or something. Perhaps a very small book in which you take notes about things <laughs> nobody cares about. <laughs> I'm gonna take a note What's... about this heartless. Uh, he has a propeller on his head. That's cool. 
lots of fish today, Donald. Nobody cares. Sora. <laughs> Sora's just got the list of spells in there because he keeps forgetting their names like fire. <laughs> hmm. So the more powerful one is fire, but with an A. I can't grasp hats or tails on this. What the hell is a fur guy? Fira, Fira. <laughs> Well, if it's called Fira, maybe the next one it's called Firogia. That would be cool. <laughs> I love a pierogi. I could go for a pierogi. What is with these notes, Sora? These don't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that one's just standing around in one pose. Man, I can't wait for Kingdom Hearts 3 in which we have to write Sora's autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they call a key blade in France? <laughs> 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 So, okay, we have to search for that fucking dolphin again, and it just wandered off wherever. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's yeah, that yeah. big friendly look. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'd call him, friendly. <laughs> he abandoned us and tried to get us murdered by jellyfish. He's a hero to the people. What an asshole. <laughs> he only fleed so we could recuperate for a better fight later on. <laughs> uh-huh. You're acting like this dolphin's gonna, like, join our team or something. Yeah, he's just waiting for the opportunity to plunge his nose right into your spine and just leave your wriggling around <laughs> helpless. He's just waiting for Goofy to die and take his place. Listen, Loon, this dolphin, he knows you have back problems, and he aims to solve them. His methods may be extreme, but he has a good heart. Future friend, you shot fire underwater. What? <laughs> That's crazy. These developers must have been on drugs or something. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say that was inefficient. I wasn't going to say anything about that. Well, maybe you just don't know the future friend commentary. <laughs> oh, you're right. Or the gameplay style. Oh, hey, we're back here. Oh, uh, boy. So we have to beat on the shark again. Why? Oh, good. He ain't hurting nobody. This fat dolphin is a monster and a menace. He is a friend. He just wishes to play like any dolphin. Right. <laughs> Play with our corpse. Yeah, are you gonna be crutching for, you know, wanting a little off time? Yes. Yes, I am. He's trying to kill you. I can do whatever I want. I don't need this life. <laughs> Look, he needs to keep moving forward in order to survive. Just don't be in his way. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a good attack, though. <laughs> yeah, I didn't actually know that could happen until this playthrough. <laughs> nice. Alright, so here's why we needed to talk to Triton. Um, we need to examine this thing, and if we don't talk to Triton, Sebastian just doesn't show up. <laughs> it's just Sora asking, Oh, what's this? What's this here? <laughs> I better go ask Triton about it. <laughs> if only there were a very small creature to interact with this very small rock. <laughs> <laughs> Flounder. So yeah, now we're in uh, Ursula's lair here. Oh, okay. You can see here, uh, it's Ursula's lair because those caves are a color no cave has ever been. Mm -hmm. Right, I really like that she decorated the place. Really made it her own. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> painted the cave was purple. And there's some lava. And uh, whatever fucking rock stones are. <laughs> Was this just built on top of an underwater volcano? Why not? I mean, you know what they say. Like, keep your enemies close. Right. Yep. That's what they did with, uh, like, Pompeii, you know? That turned out great. They, <laughs> right. They uh, got a movie about him. Yeah. Troy. Volcanic, yeah. volcanic caves. Excellent soil. I cannot believe the kind of aquaculture that is going on in here. It's just aquaponics. Oh my, I don't want to. I don't want to swim into that. You're gonna have to, buddy. Oh, oh. What are these things? They're terrifying. You said we would never return to whale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gross. There was nothing gross about zunked out seaweed. <laughs> okay. If you say so. Your time to 
time has come! Oh, I was wondering what that red thing from the back of his head was. It was just Sebastian. You're, you're like five miles away from her, Donald. <laughs> you uh, are not the camera, Donald. So, okay, um... Ursula's boss fight is mostly just kind of, um, Like, throwing a bunch of magic into her pool. Mm -hmm. Because, eventually, it's basically a tug of war where, uh... You either throw, um, like, spells into it and it explodes like, benefiting you, or she throws enough potions in it benefiting her. Oh. Can you not attack her until something happens? Um, she has unnaturally high defense unless she's knocked out. Um, okay. Just to also make it, though, so, because you need magic and a lot of it, uh, just to make it so that uh, you don't always run out, uh, her little pets, Jotsam and Fletsam, give you a lot more MP than normal enemies do. And oh, they were okay. five every once in a while. That's handy. Is there like an actual counter for this, or is it just... It mostly is just kind of throwing spells into this. Okay. Uh, there might be a thing about some spells being more, like, efficient based on what color the pot currently is, but I never really noticed it that much. You just use your strongest spell. Uh, I just use spell that I know hits. In this okay. case, a spell that's wider than everything else. Right. Overall, this... Uh, this isn't too bad a boss battle, unless you kind of decided to go melee mostly. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't seem nearly as bad as, like, Jafar. <laughs> no. Like, at least you can hit her. It just takes a bit of patience. Right. One other thing, though, uh, you can also get really unlucky and, uh, and like, Jetsam and Flutsam can just go up to you and fucking wreck you. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see, because now you have to... So this is what happens when she wins. Yeah, that's what happens when she wins. She also has another one where it's more of a tornado. Hmm. Okay. Oh, shoot. Knocked you out of your spell. Oh, you're done. Yeah. This isn't too hard a boss battle, you just gotta, uh, gotta know the gimmick behind it. Yeah. Great. Good fight. Good job, each friend. Incredible fight. Probably the best performance I've seen ever. You'll pay for this! This is better than a rock concert. <laughs> is that gonna be our new Keyblade? Nice. Are we gonna get the Trident? You learned how to kick like a mermaid. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm planning here. You have to equip it though, don't you? Yeah. So essentially, uh, mermaid kick is another shared ability. Uh, I just forgot for a moment where I were. <laughs> right. Um, and that. But anyway, uh, mermaid kick is essentially a uh, another ability like high jump that's more for your maneuverability. Uh, right, because you go super fast. Yeah, you go super fast if you uh, press a button. Unfortunately, it does kind of make you trend downwards slowly somewhat, I've noticed. Hmm. So, uh, you do still have to essentially uh, try and, like, guess where you are up and down for certain parts. Yeah, but at least it gets you through these areas faster. Yeah. Uh -huh. At least uh, I don't have to bother with fucking everything anymore. Also, now that we got the mermaid kick, we can, uh... Ignore the dolphin. Yeah, ignore the dolphin. We can go inside of this vent now. Oh. Why couldn't we always just mermaid kick, then? Because else we would unlock this boss. Who cares? Well, here's the thing. You just weren't good. The dolphin was such a shitty mechanic, though. Yeah, but you weren't good at being a mermaid until you got we this We are ability. not from these waters. <laughs> we have arrived uh. from a distant land. See? <laughs> we don't know the culture of this country. <laughs> Uh-oh. We don't know their customs. We don't know how they do things and see. So quit your bitching. It's just how they do it. Whoa, she got huge. Yeah. Um, so, hey, welcome to uh, Ursula Phase 2. This uh -huh. is 
uh, known as probably one of the biggest roadblocks for a lot of people. Yeah. But this boss sucks. This boss has a giant amount of HP comparatively to a lot of other bosses around this time. She does a lot of attacks. She never really leaves you alone because, like, her uh, thunder attack almost just kind of goes around and kind of tries to hit you. Mm -hmm. So you can't stay in one spot for too much. You compare. You don't have actually a lot of time to hit her unless you manage to find a certain spot and just kind of tank damage. Very innovative of them to design a boss that directly attacks the player's eyes like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, uh, when I played this game, like, uh, my TV just started throwing shit at me. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a lot of attacks. Mm -hmm. And it just does also doesn't help that due to the fact that the perception in this world is kind of weird. Yeah. It, like, kind of sucks to actually be able to attack her. The best thing you can actually do is get essentially stuck on the back of her neck fat <laughs> and just hit her there because yeah. um, her like going around will usually shield you at least from getting hit by the thunder oh okay but it's very hard to get stuck on there to be honest this right. fight's pretty good it simulates perfectly what it's like to fight a big fat lady <laughs> <laughs> and see of course talking from experience yeah right can grow enormous in size and suck up all the air. Just gotta fight them off fast. It's like that Shadow of the Colossus guy. Yeah. yeah. It's, li it's like uh, all those uh, hobo fights videos you see online. Right. Except one of the hobos is a giant fat lady and she summons <laughs> the clouds to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like an unfair hobo fight. <laughs> yeah, Hobo Fight's, uh, the Hobo Fight meta game kind of got weird towards the end. <laughs> right. Yeah. Is this like American Gladiator, but for homeless people? Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a beloved cultural staple over here in Atlantica. <laughs> right. Atlantica's really messed up. Overthrow the monarchy while you hear Sora. Please, Sora is nothing but a friend to dictators. Okay, so we have entered a new phase. This is probably uh, the worst part of this fight. Uh huh. Besides the <laughs> fact that she's cross eyed now because yes. she can't drink us anymore. Uh, right. So essentially, what happens in this one is like every couple of seconds, she summons a ring of thunder around her. So you barely have any time to attack her. You can probably pull up one combo, and then you've got to get the fuck out of there. All right. Unless, of course, she's doing an attack like that, which gives you a lot more time. Uh huh. This attack fucking wrecks you. Um, if you're not careful and not trying to be at full health most of the time, you will become destroyed by that. Especially in proud mode. Yeah, especially in proud mode. This whole thing is terrifying. <laughs> it's also such a long fight for where you are in the game. Oh yeah, no, like, uh, I actually had to spend like 45 minutes like outside of this video just fighting her and cutting it out in the end because this is just a really long boss fight and it can just fucking murder you if you're not careful at all times. Jeez. Well, her crazy eyes makes it worth it. Yeah, that's the that's a true experience right here for Atlantica. <laughs> Old crazy eyes or so. <laughs> I love it. Sometimes it sometimes it goes so far that it's in her eye socket, and other times it just jumps back into a neutral position. I think that's why King Triton like made her leave. It's like, oh, I can't look at your crazy yeah. eyes anymore. <laughs> the blonde guy. His <laughs> eyes freak me out. Get the hell out of here. How am I supposed to concentrate on being a king when this keeps showing up? <laughs> concentrate on being a king over my daughter and this crap. <laughs> well, I mean, who else are you really king over in this world? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I know, try to struggle of only having to rule over your daughter and a crap. 
There's also, yeah, exactly. There's also Flounder. The Flounder. No one rules Flounder. Now she's just oh frozen like God. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The core is revealed! Uh... Oh God, we oh. just choked her! Uh, this, is, this is disturbing. This is really messed up. <laughs> what have I done? Oh my God. Alright, guys, thank you for watching my Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts The Line. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like a hero yet? Do you feel like a key wielder yet? So where do you think the keyhole was this whole time? Yeah, are we supposed to lock it in? I bet it was yeah. inside King Trident all along. <laughs> it's in the middle of his abs. <laughs> <laughs>And so the kingdom was saved. Your world? Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's that. shit. It's dead. Sorry for lying to oh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. If you can travel to other worlds, maybe Ariel, you, can... you need legs. <laughs> so many legs, I lungs, see. all kinds of organs. Part of your world. I'll find a way, <laughs> somehow. I'm sure of it. And they just leave while she's still oh, bye. <laughs> monologuing. Well, if you find it, do me a favor and leave me out of Hey, you're using your oh, legs. Oh, Sebastian. Uh... You remembered your legs. <laughs> you crazy guy. <laughs> you crazy guy who just wants to be left alone. Oh, no, we got his claw. Oh, no, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. What did you do, Ariel? <laughs> oh, what my God. Oh. Sebastian's dead. <laughs> Well, at least he's left out of shit now. Forever. <laughs> Good. I can't believe Sebastian the Crab is fucking dead.